it gives me utmost joy and uh, pleasure to uh, be here today to officiate uh, in the market day in recognition of the contribution of MSMEs or mi micro, medium, small and medium enterprises and cooperatives in the economy. It's a very joyous day indeed and it is so exciting to witness the presence of so many of you here today to showcase and market your products to the public. We found it fitting to have the celebrations in Ba, as it is known as the home of business for Fiji, a place where many of our big businesses uh, and business tycoons have originated from. And hopefully we can find a few more amongst us here today. I am blessed to be in the presence of such talented and driven entrepreneurs and members of various cooperatives as we join in celebrating the success of your individual ventures. And also, uh, just looking around, I noticed that the uh, people right from Suva here today, uh, supporting partners and Nandi, uh, who are here, uh, some of the um, nature's ways here, and uh, thank you for making the effort to come out as well. Kofi Annan once said, founded on the principles of private initiative, entrepreneurship, and self-employment, underpinned by the values of democracy, equality, solidarity, the cooperative movement can help pave the way to a more just and inclusive economic order. Micro, small, medium enterprises and cooperatives are critical to the development and of our economy and form crucial contributions as they help sustain livelihoods of women and young people. Today marks 101 years anniversary of the International Cooperatives Day with the theme, Cooperatives Partners for Accelerated Sustainable Development. Earlier in the week, on the 27th of uh, June, we celebrated World MSME Day with the theme, Supporting Women and Youth Entrepreneurship and Resilient Supply Chains. Consistent with this year's theme, I encourage the business community to include MSMEs and cooperatives in your supply chains and business models. Whilst I know that most raw materials are imported, using MSMEs can help mitigate risks of disruptions of supply chains. And when I look around this room, I see so many ideas and opportunities waiting to be unlocked. As your government, we have not imposed our thinking on you, or what we think should have been done. We have listened and developed forward-looking interventions in the national budget that was announced yesterday. The national budget announced yesterday supports policies and outlines the direction for the next up upcoming year. And it is evidently clear there is pre pretty much a bit, big reliance on women and youth to come forward, take up of these opportunities and help us, and as a country become sustainable by building and expanding our economic base, supporting entrepreneurship for women and youth. To ignite entrepreneurship at the grassroots levels, the Honorable Minister has announced a package to the amount of 2.6 million grant funding, an increase of about 85% uh, this financial year. That is actually just what's allocated to our ministry, but I'm sure that if it's uh, collectively added with the other interventions in MSMEs across the ministries, it is a fairly significant number. We aim to make smart and innovative investments in to SMEs, MSMEs and cooperatives. With the increased allocation, 
The coalition government is demonstrating that we are serious about supporting MSMEs and our responsibility to support and empower MSMEs and cooperatives in the com upcoming financial year will continue. Additionally, the Ministry is responsible for growing the economy through facilitating investments and economic diversification. We have established a investment facilitation committee to expedite investments that are pending approvals with regulatory or government agencies. We have abundant natural resources and human capital that remains untapped. The resources need your innovation, mentorship, and investments to convert those resources to productive use. Whilst we encourage you to collaborate, mentor, and encourage more with MSMEs and cooperatives, we as government must also do our part. That is why your coalition government is focusing on improving business, improving the business environment, such as simplifying tax systems and compliance, plugging government, lost government revenue, and reducing unnecessary expenditure. The coalition knows, government knows, that it is not easy doing business in Fiji. We aim to improve the processes and services delivered to the businesses and the general public. We are continuing with the ease of doing business project that will enable us to remove pain points and illogical processes to allow you to operate your businesses efficiently and smoothly. Like the Honorable Prime Minister said in, earlier in the week, we cannot operate like business as usual. And therefore, tough calls need to be made and the people understand this. We have to be honest and transparent with our decision making. There is a prevailing sense of optimism in the air, I'd say exuberance in the air. And we must ride on this optimism and we cannot be complacent. Each one of you has a valuable contribution to make towards nation building and forging a new Fiji. We are a true democracy today, right now. We know that we cannot do it alone. Hence, we will continue to work with our partner, partner agencies such as Business Assistance Fiji, UN agencies such as UNDP, UN Women, UNCDF, UNFAO, ILO, amongst others. We look to forge new partnerships with the Chamber of Commerce and also the community in respective towns. And I also see friends here and a few others, and be assured that we will uh, certainly be looking to co collaborate with the NGOs to see how far we can take uh, the initiative regarding MSMEs and cooperatives. Before I end, it would be remiss of me not to acknowledge the important role and the contributions of all MSMEs and cooperatives in Fiji. I would like to thank our partners who co-funded this event, namely the United Nations Development Program, the United Nations Women and Business Assistance Fiji, and our sponsor in kind, Fiji Water. I thank you all for being here, and may this celebration serve as a reminder of the incredible achievements and the potential that lies within our cooperatives and MSMEs. I look forward to working with you all as we rebuild our nation of Fiji. God bless you. God bless Fiji. Now we live.